guys i am 29 weeks pregnant with everly oh my goodness my third daughter look at that belly i'm feeling large and in charge lately but oh my goodness it's just it's a blessing saying i'm 29 weeks oh, 29 weeks you guys Oh my goodness, such a blessing to just say that and I didn't even think I was going to be able to make it this far. I honestly really didn't think I was going to make it to 29 weeks. This little girl is such a fighter and my goodness, she kicks all the time and it's just, it's a blessing saying I'm 29 weeks. That's like a week into my third trimester already and I didn't think I would get here. But oh, it just feels so good to say I'm 29 weeks. I'm in my third trimester. I'm feeling great. I mean, of course I have aches and pains here and there, but I just feel so amazing and I'm so blessed to be able to carry her this long. If you guys have been following my pregnancy journey, you know it hasn't been the easiest, but my goodness, 29 weeks. That means my husband Benny gets here in about a week. And I just feel like once he's here, I feel like this huge weight will be off my shoulders and I feel like I'll be able to 100% fully relax because if she does happen to come early, I mean, obviously I don't want her to come early, but if she does happen to come, at least her dad will be here and he'll be here for the birth and he'll get to hold her and meet her. And that was honestly my biggest worry about being separated. That's what was putting me off moving to California earlier without him is because just knowing the fact that he might not be there for her birth or he might not get to hold her, just I didn't want to regret my decision of moving in case that did happen. So that was like my biggest worry but man we are down to the wire guys one more week but anyways guys i have another appointment yet again for everly but today's appointment is a little bit different it's not with my regular ob i'm actually going to be seeing a specialist I'm going to be looking at her heart and everything because a while back i believe it was my last appointment that i had in hawaii I saw a cardiologist. Basically, they were looking at Everly's heart and she does in fact have a heart defect. We still have no idea what heart defect because when I went in for that appointment, I think I was like 19 weeks. Typically, they don't schedule those appointments until you're at least 20 weeks. Like I said, I was 19 weeks when I went in for that appointment. So her heart was really small. So it was really hard for them to, you know, like pinpoint what kind of heart defect. And it was just really hard for them to see. The only thing we do know is she does in fact have a heart defect. She has a hole right smack in the middle of her heart. I'm pretty sure I will definitely find out what's going on with her heart because I am 29 weeks and the last time I went in, I was 19 weeks, so she's definitely a lot bigger now. So today's ultrasound is going to be really lengthy, probably really detailed. It's with the specialist, like I said, so I probably won't be able to film anything. Before I actually head out to that appointment, because I do have some time, because that appointment isn't until like later on the day, I wanted to show you guys my new diaper bag, because I already know I'm going to get a ton of questions on it. So I actually got a few requests to show what's in my diaper bag. So I'm gonna show you guys really quickly before I head out to my appointment. Here is my diaper bag slash purse. I have a five-year-old and a one-year-old, so my kids aren't really babies anymore, which is so sad to say. <laughs> Since they aren't really that small anymore, I feel like they don't need that much stuff when we're out. So my bag is more so like a purse, but this is technically a diaper bag, but I feel like it doesn't look like a diaper bag. So this is the Miss Fong diaper bag. I know what you guys are probably thinking, this looks like a Fawn bag. So I did my research on the Fawn design and the Miss Fong, and I just felt like I would get a lot more use out of this bag. And I feel like I would get more, you know, bang for my buck. With this bag because this one has way more pockets than the fawn design bag does the first thing that i have on my bag is of course my little lego princess leia inside this zipper pocket i have a compact mirror which is so beat up this is so old but it's just a compact mirror then i have a whole bunch of hair ties so there's 
a bunch of hair ties in here. Also have some smaller hair ties in here for Aurora because she uses these ones. And then I have a lip liner in here inside this pouch right here. Um, gum. And this is just spearmint trident gum. So that's everything in these two pockets. Then on the side, there's an actual like deep pocket and then there's a zipper pocket as well. Inside this zipper pocket, I just have some lipstick, of course. This is by Milani and this is in the shade Matte Naked. Again, it's in like that mauve color that I typically gravitate towards. But this one is a little bit more on the nude side. And then what else is in here? I have a chapstick. It's just by Nivea. It's just your basic cherry chapstick. That's it for this zipper pocket. And then in this pouch pocket, I just have some hand sanitizer because this is like a must if you have kids. This is by the brand Honest and I love this one just because it's so easy to just pull out of this pocket and then just... It's one of the spray ones. I have one more lipstick and this is the one that I'm actually wearing today. This is by Colourpop and this is in the shade Pinkies Up. That's everything for these two side pockets. On the other side, there's the same exact pockets. I don't think I have anything in here. Yeah, there's nothing in here. And then I just carry my glasses on the side. So this is what one pair of my glasses look like. I just got them and I'm so in love with them from I Buy Direct. And then that's it for the sides and the front pockets. And then in the back, there's actually a zipper pocket. So in here, I pretty much just use this pocket for my phone. It just fits nicely in here. And then I just have a pen in here because you never know when you're gonna need a pen. The straps are super super nice. They're like a kind of like a seatbelt material if that makes sense. So, and you can actually take off the straps and then you can just wear this like a crossbody. So that's actually what's in this pocket right here. The crossbody strap. So I just keep this in here. I don't really use it as a crossbody. Also too, if you don't want to have like this strap hanging out, you can just tuck it in there and then button it. Let's just jump in to the actual bag. So here's what my bag looks like. So there is this huge pocket in the back. So I just have a changing pad. Since this is the mini version, I don't think I said that actually. This is the mini version of their diaper bag. So they have a full bag, but mine is the mini version just because I don't carry that much for my kids. So since this is the mini version, it doesn't come with a changing pad. So this is actually a changing pad that I had from another diaper bag. And then it's just a wet bag. Inside of this wet bag, I just carry two diapers, small pack of wipes. And then I have some bags, scented bags in here for whenever Aurora goes poopy. That's literally all I have in here for her. Like that's it. Two diapers, some wipes, and a changing pad. That's it for this large pocket. This bag does come with this little hook too, which is nice for like car keys, house keys. There's a bunch of pockets in here. So I just have my wallet thrown in here. There is a zipper pocket right here. Inside this zipper pocket, some preggy pops. They're for when you're nauseous. I feel like I'm like huffing and puffing in this video. Like my goodness, am I out of breath? I don't know if you guys can see, but there actually is an insulated pocket on the side. I don't really have anything in here. As you guys can see, it's completely empty. And then on this side, there's another stretchy pocket. This one obviously isn't insulated. Of course, I have my go-to lipstick. It's by ColourPop and it's in the shade Beeper. As always, I have this lipstick linked down below because you guys ask me all the time when I'm wearing. 90% of the time, it's this. So this is always linked down below. Little thing of Tylenol because 29 weeks pregnant, I get heartburn, headaches. So I just keep that on hand. And then the last thing in that side pocket is just a sunglass slash eyeglasses case. It's just like a cloth one. I don't even know where I got this from. It's so freaking old, but I use it for whenever I wanna throw my camera in here when I'm vlogging and I don't want my camera to get like all scratched up. I just throw it in here cause it fits nicely. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like a huge mesh pocket right here. 
I just have my sunglasses. And I also have sunglasses in here for Layla. These are from Old Navy. So those are Layla's. These are mine. These are just from Target. So you just look like that. And then that's it for this mesh pocket. There is another mesh pocket right here in the front. So there's a zipper right here. There's a pouch. A mesh pocket right here, a mesh pocket down here too, and then there is another mesh pocket on the side. There's one more thing all the way at the bottom. This is their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This smells like Hawaiian beach vacation vibes. <laughs> I don't even know. So that's it for all right here. And then you have a humongous zipper pocket right here. So I'm not really going to pull too much out of here because I have like immunization records and just important papers in here. I have a little thing of Tums because like I said, 29 weeks pregnant, heartburn, acid reflex, not fun. I have some deodorant in here because girl, it's so hot. You never know when you're gonna have to refresh yourself. So I have, oh my goodness. It's basically like little love notes from my husband. I have one from our five year anniversary. Then I have a, oh my goodness guys, I'm gonna tell you the sweetest story really quick. When my husband was in BMT, which is basic military training for the Air Force, I ended up, you know, taking a train all the way down to Texas to see him graduate. But I ended up arriving a few days before his graduation, which means he was still technically in basic, which means he still couldn't have like access to the outside world, I guess. like. He wasn't able to have you no know, communication with civilians if he were to like run into them at the store or whatever. If you guys are military, then you know what I'm talking about. I went to the store super late one night in Texas when I was out there for his graduation. And a bunch of airmen ended up coming into the store and my husband ended up walking in. And like I said, he ha it was like a few days before his graduation. So he was not allowed to talk to me at all or else he would get in trouble so we just kept like staring at each other and we kept smiling at each other because that's basically all we could do because like i said he wasn't able to talk to me we kept like passing each other into the store and it was just so cute and it was just oh i did my shopping in the store he did his shopping in the store as my husband walked by he slipped this little love note i'm not gonna read it to you guys because it's kind of personal but i cherish it forever and i just thought that was so freaking sweet because he wasn't able to talk to me, but he <laughs> took the time out of his little shopping trip to write me a love note and slip it to me. So I thought that was super sweet. And then I have some pictures in here. So I'm going to show you guys these pictures real quick. So this is when I was pregnant with Layla. Don't we look like babies? Like, oh my goodness. This is also us with Layla. I think she was like barely a month old right here. So she's super tiny and she doesn't even look the same. Like who is that little tan baby? This is my husband and I at prom. Babies guys. I was pregnant right here with Layla. Also me and Layla. This was like our Valentine's photo shoot. <laughs> and it looks like Rory in this picture. I definitely need to print out some more pictures and get some pictures of Rory in here because I only have pictures of Layla in here. Back to the stuff in here. So like I said, I'm not going to pull out all of this stuff because it's like important like medical documents and stuff like that. I have a liner in here because you never know when you're going to need that. I have some allergy medicine because my allergies were so bad in Hawaii, but they're actually a lot better since being in California. And I have some band-aids in here because five-year-old and a one-year-old they're always falling always getting hurt so that is pretty much everything that i carry in here so like i said this is more so like a purse than a diaper bag for me anyways guys i'm gonna go ahead repack my entire diaper bag because i kind of threw everything on the floor made a mess but i will see you guys for my specialist appointment like i said i probably won't be able to film anything in there because it is going to be you know appointment with a specialist so it's kind of a really important ultrasound so I probably won't be able to film that but I will come back and I'll update you guys on what happened and all of that fun stuff so I'll see you guys in a little bit hopefully my glasses aren't too distracting I was editing right now to try to get this video 
done for you guys so that way it goes up i in early friday morning i don't know whether to laugh or cry maybe a little bit of both right now oh my goodness guys okay you know what i'm gonna just take these off real quick. i didn't get seen by the specialist they called me and i basically said i need a referral to be seen by the specialist so they rescheduled me for monday so i was like okay well i'm gonna just call back my regular ob office tell them to send that over right away so that way i can be seen on monday so i get off the phone with them and sure enough my ob office calls they tell me yes i do need a referral to be seen by the specialist but with my tricare that's my insurance tricare prime it's hmo insurance so you need a referral basically for everything every time you want to see a specialist or you want to go to like just basically every time you want to see a doctor outside of your PCM, you need a referral. I'm on the phone with my OB office and she tells me they can't give me the referral for the specialist. That it needs to come from my PCM. I didn't know whether to start crying on the phone when she told me that. Because if you guys have been, you know, keeping up with our journey moving from Hawaii to California. Then you know I went through this massive ordeal with my insurance and they gave me such a hard time to find a pcm get a referral find an ob so i was without ob care for like a month or longer i don't even remember but it was ridiculous when my ob office called today and they told me i need to get a referral for my pcm i honestly just wanted to break down and cry on the phone because i was like i can't believe i'm going through this whole ordeal again thankfully my ob office is freaking amazing and she told me to not even stress about it myself she told me she would handle it so my ob office just called me back right now she told me she got the referral for me it's a go she told me i shouldn't have any issues and that the rescheduled specialist appointment for this coming monday should be good to go i'm not sure at this point if i should get my hopes up and get excited to be seen by the specialist because i feel like everything is just always an ordeal and i feel like nothing has been easy this pregnancy but i'm just gonna pray about it cross my fingers hope that everything is good come monday this video did not go how i planned to go so this video kind of turned into a what's in my diaper bag anyways if you guys still enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you guys are subscribed to the man family and make sure you guys' bell notifications are turned on hopefully the next time i see you guys it's and I'm being seen by the specialist. Either way, I'll see you guys soon. So, bye guys. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme